Hey Mojoholics, I'm your host Rebecca, and in this 14th episode of Watch Mojo FAQ, our CEO and co-founder Ashkan Carpers Fushin joins me to discuss why some of our lists aren't countdowns and how our videos can help you never read a book again. Hey Mojoholics, welcome to Watch Mojo FAQ episode 14. Welcome Ash. How are you guys? So last week, we asked you guys, the Mojoholics, for feedback on the name of our new news show. So what happened? Correct. So we did a poll on the Suggest page, and we seeded it with a number of possibilities, including two that we were kind of considering. One was In Case You Missed It, or the acronym ICYMI, as well as the Watch Mojo Report. So what happened? Well, so basically what happened, we were leaning initially towards in case you missed it, because it wasn't like we were going to dispatch you to Syria to cover ISIS. It was going to be like, you're welcome. It was going to be like, you know, after the news kind of breaks, we kind of do a report and recap things. So in case you missed it made a lot of sense. Uh, We didn't actually explain what the acronym stood for, but we figured you guys got that. Um, But you totally downvoted that one. You just did not like it. And you did like the Watch Mojo report. It ended up being the number two most liked suggestion. But a few voices in the office felt that it was a bit of a ripoff of the Colbert report. So that one died as well. Right. Then user N7276 suggested what went on to become the most highly voted pick, which was Know Your Mojo. Yeah, so Know Your Mojo, I mean, we don't like the acronym Kim, uh, but the what Know Your Mojo is a great name. Hats off to uh, N7276. The, pro, uh, the problem is that, um, you know, it, it's, it's not really the kind of name that befits the show that's going to talk about Ebola, ISIS, famine, war, destruction, and other fun topics like that. Um, and seeing how, in case you missed the bomb and the Colbert Report seemed like a bit a bit of a ripoff, maybe to some. Uh, we just decided to go with Watch Mojo News because that's basically what it is. That's not very sexy. Am I supposed to say uh, WMN? Uh, you could say what you'd like, and you will anyway. Uh, no, I mean the bottom line is: look, we did listen to the Mojo Holics. We're not going to go with in case you missed it, and we did listen to the staff who said we don't think Colbert Report is is Watch original Mojo. enough. Um, and and. Ultimately, for what we're producing, Watch Mojo News makes sense. you got to bear in mind, you guys and YouTube remain our core focus, but our videos live a bit everywhere. They're on Yahoo, MSN, AOL. They're on news sites. A lot of publishers you know, feature them. So if you go into a meeting with CNN and you're like, look, we have this new great content. It recaps these things like ISIS and Ebola and you know, what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. They're like, oh, that's great. Maybe we'd like to feature it. What's it called? Know Your Mojo. It's... You know, it, it kind of doesn't really befit that. Um, but we are going to, we like it so much that we are going to use Know Your Mojo for another thing. What other thing? Uh, well, you'll have to find out in the new year. Damn it. Uh, anyway, but uh, N, well, N7276, I'm never going to remember that, uh, is going to get a free T-shirt uh, for his trouble for, or her trouble for suggesting uh, our most highly picked name. So head over to watchmojo.com slash store and send us at, uh, where, at contest at watchmojo.com? Contest is fine. Yeah, yeah uh, or we may send you an email first to make sure that it's the right person. Fair enough. Otherwise. But we'll need your address, your preferred model, and size. Yeah, now speaking of these Watch Mojo news segments, I was in on a bunch of the meetings and involved and read some of those emails internally, but are these basically going to end up being, you know, top 10 lists and countdowns? Okay. It's a top 10 list in that there are 10 entries, but they're not... That's a top 10 list. Yeah, they're not ranked. We're basically trying to give background and feedback and context to news stories that you're hearing about. So it's more like we're telling a story in a maybe chronological, depending on the topic, or just a logical order uh, that, that kind of flows. So we're telling a story versus actually ranking things, and it'll seem a bit disjointed if we, we did it that way. So sort of like our old Mojo notes. Yes. And in case you don't know what, you're talk- what we're talking about and uh, you're scratching your heads wondering what we're talking about, uh, Mojo Notes was a series of 33 videos that we produced between September 2013 and June 2014, which uh, basically was like Cole's Notes in video form, uh, where we summarized the plot, characters, and so on of popular classic novels. Cole's Notes or Cliff Notes, yeah. Cliff, yeah. Um, so basically, that's the thing. It ran, you're right, now you're drawing my memory. It ran from September to June, basically like the school year. We had a distribution partner that wanted these, you know, kind of summaries on these classic novels. 
And it's funny, we did end up featuring them on YouTube as well. Not a lot of people clicked on them, but those who did love them. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh my God, I'm reading this or pretending to read this in school right now. This really helped me. Can you do this other book? Um, so, you know, I mean, we did this when we had a million subs, and then we stopped it when we had two, two and a half million subs. And now we have six million subs. So Yeah, and the school year is in full swing. I think we're past midterm. So we're wondering if you guys want to see more of those videos. Um, and that was actually also a question by Fitz Martint. Are there going to be any more top ten notes or trivia videos? So check out the poll and let us know. I must say, I do like countdowns. I feel like just doing a, top, a list that has ten <clears throat> items is kind of cheating. But in any case, I know students found them helpful, so... Yeah, do, do we have time for one more question? Sure. Okay, on Twitter, uh, user Luparian asked, uh, did you ever consider making a list with less entries if there's not 10 candidates, but the ordering is interesting? Okay, so that was actually a question that came up at that YouTube shindig that I uh, spoke at, uh, and it does come up quite a bit. So today you found out that not all of our lists are in fact countdowns, although 99% of them are, and indeed our first list were top five. The problem was with the top five is you're only kind of featuring the obvious. So it's not as interesting. Mm -hmm. We even experimented with top seven, but then once we were at seven, we said, you know, think of the Ten Commandments, Dave Letterman's top ten, people like top ten lists, so we went with top ten. We'll never run out of top ten ideas. There's so much to do. In fact, when we come up with something that might have less than ten entries, we'll just find a different spin and angle to make it a top ten. But never say never. Um, in fact, I think next year you may see a spin on our lists uh, that may include things like that. But uh, for the time being, I think we'll just never run out of top 10 lists. And yeah, I think that's going to become our new catchphrase. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and see you next week. And yeah, next week when you tune in, you will have already seen the first installment of both Dan's new show Topics, as well as the first segment on uh, Watch Mojo News. Uh, I believe they're going to be published on Tuesday and Wednesday. Awesome. Thank you. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in tomorrow for me and Dan on What's Your Mojo.